The family lived numerous times in his younger days, <clears throat> resulting in his attending five schools in the first grade. <laughs> Settling in Provo, Utah, he attended elementary and junior high school. During this time, Bob picked up pop and beer bottles to purchase his first horse, uh, Tony. And of course, he was able to uh, talk his uh, sister, his parents, and even the preacher into helping pick up and clean bottles. He's always been a smooth talker. <laughs> the Slayton family moved to Monticello, Utah in 1952, where his dad opened a service station and repair shop, and he helped mechanic. He graduated high school in Monticello in 1954. <clears throat> Working for the highway department, he had a car accident that everyone thought and was told that he should have uh, taken his life. With God's grace, he was in the Moab Hospital with a broken jaw and a punctured windpipe. And if you saw the picture, you saw the picture of the car. He was flown to a hospital in Provo where he recovered. And then he was on to the next adventure. That was not, not the only car wreck that he experienced. Either. He married Ion Miller in 1956 and began a family. Larry came first in 1957. Lane in 1960. Kathy in 1962. Jack in 1964. Moving several times as the family grew with more uh, jobs than moves. Some of the things he did is he operated heavy equipment, sold vacuum cleaners and sewing machines. And he was actually a talented seamstress. <laughs> My son takes after that as well. <laughs> On to selling cars, he did his best to convert everyone to become a Ford man. And I was one of those that bought a Ford from him. <laughs> you probably were too. <clears throat> Bob's love for horses brought him to Aztec, New Mexico in 1970, where he trained racehorses on the Colorado and Arizona fair circuits in Juarez, Mexico. <clears throat> the family was able to spend the summers together at the racetrack, where the children spent most of their summers growing up. Troy was born, born during this time in 1972. <clears throat> After years of training racehorses, Bob took to the true passion of trading, where he would load up whatever. <laughs> At one point, he said, there are too many saddles in the tack, um, tack sheds. So he loaded up the saddles, came back with more saddles. <laughs> <laughs> Always ready to make a deal. <clears throat> he traded guns, Indian jewelry, cars, toilet paper, Meals, and he even traded for the houses that, that they lived in. Whether traveling or people coming to the house, he loved having people around. He was a jack of all trades, master of many. No matter what he did, he had a big smile and a hug for anyone and everyone that he came in contact with. Bob enjoyed his life doing what he loved. Bob committed his life to Christ in 1962. He became an active member in the church where he stood by Ion through her extended illness until she passed away in 1995. Bob married his beautiful chauffeur, Ann Bothwell, in 1997 from Oregon. And in the process, gained five daughters. <laughs> he moved to Anthony, New Mexico, traveling back and forth on a regular basis. His love for the Lord continued to grow, and they became very active in starting the Grace Baptist Church in Cortez, Colorado, making a full day of it on Sunday by way of Pagosa Springs to soak in the hot springs with the 300-mile trip. As his trading slowed down, his love and time with the Lord increased. <coughs> Spending every morning reading the Bible, at the kitchen table, loving and supporting his local church. <clears throat> we will miss his Roy Rogers good luck, smiles, and hug. <clears throat> and I know my daughter, Cherith, who tried very hard to come, 
been with uh, four kids, eight years old, and a two years old, and two in between. It was impossible. And she really uh, <clears throat> wanted to sing today. But he was her, her favorite uncle. And at the end of the reunions, he would crawl up on his lap and talk and listen. And I know he's one of your favorites too. So Bob, AK Roy Rogers, we will miss your good luck, smiles, and hugs. Thank <laughs> you.